we can now write uh, the Hamiltonian of these uh, uh, dynamic problems. Again, I invite you to pause the video and try to write uh, the Hamiltonian by yourself. That is made uh, by uh, our uh, uh, objective functions where we make it explicit for each variable I'm and try to make it explicit from which uh, uh, independent variables uh, uh, it, it in turn depends. So we have our objective functions and then we are, as we have a free state variable, we have also free equation of motion of the state variables that are the constraints of our uh, uh, optimizations where each of them as a vector of uh, co-state variables. These co-state variables have each of them uh, in terms an equation of, of motions that we are going to, uh, to interpret in a second. And uh, we can fix, uh, we can find the optimal solutions, finding uh, the uh, maximum of this Hamiltonian for what? For our uh, uh, control variable and our core state variables. So in terms of our control variables, we take the first derivative of the Hamiltonian with respect to the extraction of, of uh, the natural resource and we set it equal to zero. We come out with this length equations that we are going to, um, to uh, interpret uh, uh, later. Here, uh, when we do the same for uh, consumption, we come out with the what we already saw uh, many times now, that the marginal utility of consumption must be equal to the shadow price of capital. And when we do in terms of uh, um, the level of uh, expenditure we do for cleanup, we come out with, uh, with these equations that we are going to interpret in a moment. In terms of uh, dynamic uh, efficiency conditions, doesn't change much with what we <coughs> discussed uh, before. So I'm not uh, spending much time on this one. This one is our hoteling rules on the price of the, but we have to see what is the price here we see of the natural, of which is the, the, the royalty of uh, the natural resources. And here is in terms of the shadow price of capital. We have a third one dynamic efficiency condition, but its interpretation is a bit uh, complicated and uh, we are going to skip uh, the analysis of uh, these, um, these equations. We have uh, the static efficiency conditions of uh, uh, marginal utility equal to shadow with relation of capital equal to shadow price of capital. But what is really interesting are these new uh, equations. The first one, is the efficiency conditions in terms of mitigations, this new equation we, we have here. So, as I said before, we have to mitigate, but mitigate doesn't come free, it comes at a cost, and the marginal cost of mitigation is the marginal cost of capital, omega, okay? And mitigation has some effects. It has a reduction of uh, a pollute, uh, pollution stock. And the marginal reduction is given by the derivative of uh, the amount of stock reduced by uh, uh, the mitigation uh, action. How much do you value this one? Well, you value it at the price of the uh, the shadow price of the pollution stock but being something negative it, it has a negative sign uh, here as well so this is nothing else than uh, a static efficiency conditions where uh, the marginal cost of mitigations must be equal to the marginal uh, uh, benefits that uh, that you have and if you think back to the flow chart, sorry, ah, okay, we are here. So if you think uh, here in the flow chart, so here we have to do 
a choice. So the choice to be efficient is where marginal benefit, marginal equal to marginal cost. We can see that here the cost is evaluated at the price of the capital. And here we have marginal uh, reductions and the marginal reduction, then it is evaluated at what it is here, that is the price of the pollution stock. And uh, we are going to see in a moment, which is the price of the pollution stock.